we'll obviously have, uh, I, would, uh, I would say, a pretty entertaining game. Uh, just really, really proud. I mean, it's, uh, it's an outstanding win. Uh, you know, <clears throat> I'll say it again, might be a broken record, maybe tired of hearing it. But I couldn't be more proud of a group of young men than I am that group that's in that locker room. Uh, just dust themselves off. Uh, heartbreak, disappointment, whatever we want to call it. Uh, you know, came out with great energy, obviously ready to play, jump them a little early. Then we take a few punches, uh, middle to end of the first half, they go up 11. Then we just kind of challenged and strapped up and uh, uh, it was going to be all man down the stretch. Uh, just getting stops, you know, clearly our, our defense was much, much better. It was outstanding in the second half, especially on uh, on uh, Richmond. I thought Chris Thomas uh, by far did a phenomenal job. One of his, probably the most complete game as a, uh, as a herd player, both ends of the floor. We challenged him. To, uh, to play against Hakeem, who's obviously a lethal player. But uh, nice job, nice win for us. Uh, 18 assists on 22 main baskets, unselfish. Uh, we make it hard for ourselves, we don't finish. You know, we got, but, but that said, that said, the biggest play of the game is an AM1. Uh, Taylor's AM1 to, you know, to put us up one. Hits the free throw and Nuno makes two to you know, ice it down the stretch. Did a great job. Uh, late game situations. We fouled too soon on that first one with Smith. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't do good. But then we, we tip and you know, shorten the clock, shorten the clock, shorten the clock. So uh, outstanding win. Uh, it was important, critical for us to get one here at home. And now as we head into the last regular season with Charlotte on Thursday on senior night. Questions? Anything you said to the guys in the locker room? Uh, what kind of what was the, the tenor of the was it painting off the walls? Was it, ah, you know, this group, you know, we're so fragile right now. You know, it was a council aggressively. I have used that before. But paint, I don't think it was flying off the wall, but uh, I was really direct with them, you know. Uh, I, I knew coming in, I liked, you know, we, we've been so good in our zone. And uh, and then they, you know, they really hurt us in the zone in the high post because of Richmond. You know, and the kid White got off. He's a really talented freshman. Jeff did a good job. He put a guy in the high post because we were so spread and extended in the zone because we were so scared of Richmond. Uh, that was the adjustment they made. And then our first half defense, man-wise, was really poor. Uh, but we just challenged. We told them coming out of halftime, the only thing we were going to do is just dig in and play straight. No press, pick up, uh, back to basics. We switched a little bit defensively in our man. I think Custom helped us a little bit some some of our ball screen actions. And, uh, and we were dominant rebounding. It's nice to see our team rebound like that. I hadn't seen that in a long time. Unselfish, like I said, 18 assists on 22 baskets. Last week you had Rocky house return tonight. Do you have a different movie analogy for coming back and winning this one? <laughs> I don't know. Come back, come back kids, cardiac kids. Cat has nine lives. I don't know. I haven't slept in about two months. I'm, probably, I'm, I'm a little punchy right now. So. I'm just, like I said, I'm really proud of this group. We're all really frustrated. But they just, they amaze me, you know, every day. Some of you guys are there a lot. Come in, uh, attitude's been phenomenal, and uh, they deserve that win today. You know, I guess a good club is playing really well. You know, we took some punches today. That's, a, that's a, as explosive an offensive team as you, you can play in our league. Uh, and then, uh, you know, to come back and win it the way we did, you know, took the lead, then, you know, they go up, I think, four or five, and then we come right back, you know, quality stops. And then obviously big play with, with Taylor at the end of the game. Brian was talking about composure. Is, is it just now that they've been through it a little bit? And now it's to a point where hey, they, they're learning to be learning how to close a game. They're learning how to. Yeah, you know, I think fight. I think I think they're playing with much more points. You know, we've been in. I mean, you name a situation, we've been in it. You know what I mean? And, um, uh, a bunch of them haven't uh, have gone the other way. Today, obviously, we, we managed the game really, really well late. You know, out of the timeout, uh, we do a nice job getting the ball in the corner to Smith off, off that set play. who throws it to the mid post to Ryan. And like I said, we finally get the you know, big and one. You know, which we just aren't a great finishing team. We play so many points around the rim. We face the free throw. So uh, I thought it was Sean Smith. I, I talked about, I talked about uh, uh, Chris Thomas, uh, most complete game since he's been here offensively. He, I thought Sean Smith was really good today. His only missed basket was the dunk. How about that? about that. So uh, a lot of contribution. It was nice to see us again be a dominant rebounding team. 19 offensive glad, uh, offensive rebounds flying around. Only 12 turnovers. Uh, so uh, again, a very good win and I'm really proud of our kids. Uh, 
I'm sure I missed that dunk. Is that a backcourt violation? They called a backcourt violation, which I, 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 I have to watch it, but I, don't, I didn't think it was. There was no possession. I mean, it was, it well, came off the rim. I think somebody had to get a hand in there. Or even if it's not, it's a shot, it's an sh attempted shot. Yeah. And so even if on a deflection, whoever, and they said Sheck touched me, it's, it's, there's no possession on that. Yeah. I was a little confused. Yeah. 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 Off the deal, thank God. Uh, I think they did a real good job of listening to what you preached the last couple of days about the picks and screens and, and not giving uh, not melting, not not giving an inch. Yeah, and you know they they, out, you know, they execute so well. And, and, and it's, with Richmond, he's so hard to guard because he, they, they run him, they sprint him. And again, our guys did a really good job. Chris had him a lot. Uh, thought we did a good job there. Zangari hurt us a little bit in stretches, but you got to give up something. So our defense in the second half was was, was clearly good enough to win the game. So yeah, that's nice to see. Uh, how far is Chris Thomas coming back defensively from the middle game? Oh, game? God. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm tired right now, and I don't think I'm usually a man that has a lot of words. I don't think I could put it into words. <laughs> Defense was a town in like freaking Montana to him. You know what, I mean? uh, uh, what defense? Defense. I asked him what defense was. He said it's that white thing around the house. <laughs> uh, now, to answer your question, he's come a long way. He continues to grow leaps and bounds. First time, uh, his family's in from Denver today, this weekend. First time they've seen him play uh, at, at, at all since he's left home, which is a long time ago, on his journey. So. I think that makes it even really special for him, you know, uh, have his grandmother and his grandfather here who, who raised him. Uh, so I think it's going to hit home a little bit more for him. But he's come a long way. I think he's come a long way in every aspect. You know, I mean, he learned to play with pace on offense and then obviously rose up to the challenge against a, a great player today, again, Akeem. Uh, second half, he was terrific. And we had to be against the three, as you guys know. Only give up two in the second half, is that correct? I don't have my glasses. Two for 11. After they, you know, they scorched us in the first half. All right. Thanks. Thanks, guys.